Hello, everyone. Welcome to Dep and e to Lie tutorial on TV. I am Tutor Jen, your tutor for Science 7, Quarter 2, Week 2. And today, we will learn about microscopy and magnification process. Our reference material for this week is the Central Office SLM from Quarter 2, Module 2, with the title, Life Through the Lens. This is from Deped Oxygen Region. Our most essential learning competency for this week is for you learners to focus specimens using the compound microscope with the code that's 7S7LT, Living Things in the Environment, for quarter two, week two. The SLM is divided into two lessons. Lesson one is on microscopy, and lesson two is on magnification process. Today, we will learn on these two lessons and how you can apply this as you learn science. We have a few reminders before we begin. Number one, take the pretest prepared at the start of the module. Number two, take time in reading and understanding the lesson. Follow the instructions indicated in the SLM. Number three, use a clean sheet of paper for your answers in each activity or assessment. Number four, try to recall and connect the ideas that you had in the previous grade levels. Number five, be honest. When doing activities, record only what you have really observed. Number six, do not hesitate to ask. If you need to clarify something, approach or contact your science teacher. Number seven, take the post-test prepared at the end of the module. And number eight, you can check your answers in the activities, self-assessments, and post-test. So prepare your pen, your paper, and your self-learning module as we begin with the five-item pretest. This pretest is in a multiple choice type format. Directions is for you to read each question carefully. Choose the letter of the correct answer and use a separate sheet of paper for your answers. Let's begin. Number one, which instrument would you use to view an image of a plant cell? A, telescope. B, periscope. C, microscope. Or D, kaleidoscope. Which one would you use to view an image of a plant cell? The correct answer is a microscope. A telescope lets you view distant objects. A periscope lets you observe the surroundings while remaining undercover, while a kaleidoscope consists of mirrors that reflect images of bits of colored glasses in different geometric designs. So letter C is the answer, microscope. Number two, to focus on a specimen, it is best to start with which objective lens? A, middle magnification, B, lowest magnification, C, highest magnification, or D, intermediate magnification. Which would you use to focus on a specimen? Correct answer is letter B, lowest magnification. Remember to always begin with the lowest magnification. Number three, which two parts of the light microscope magnify the image of an object? A, eyepiece and mirror. B, objective and mirror. C, objective and diaphragm. Or D, eyepiece and objectives. Which two parts of the light microscope magnify the image of an object? The correct answer is letter D, eyepiece and objectives. Number four, how are you going to handle a microscope when transferring from one location to another? A, hold the microscope on stage with both hands. B, hold on the arm and swing it as you walk. C, Hold it on the inclination joint with one hand 
and another hand on its base. Or D, hold the arm with one hand and the other hand on the base. How are you going to handle a microscope when transferring from one location to another? The correct answer is letter D. Hold the arm with one hand and your other hand is holding the base. Last item for our pretest. Number five, what do you think is the reason why a scratch on microscope lenses happen? A, washing the entire microscope. B, providing too much light when viewing. C, using rough cloth in cleaning the lenses. Or D, keeping the microscope in a cabinet full of dust. What do you think is the reason? Correct answer, letter C, using rough cloth in cleaning the lenses. Do not worry if you did not get all items correctly. We all make mistakes. Let us continue learning then. Here's another five items for you to see what parts of the microscope are being described. You have five items and the choices are on the right. Identify the words described. Number one, supports the upper part of the microscope. Two, controls the amount of light. Three, a small platform where the specimen is placed. Number four, holds objective lenses and can be rotated. Number five, supports the entire microscope and found at the bottom. The choices are A, arm, B, base, C, diaphragm, D, revolving nose piece, and E, stage. What do you think are the answers to the five items described? Number one supports the upper part of the microscope is the arm. Number two, it controls the amount of light, that's the diaphragm. Number three, a small platform where the specimen is placed is called the stage. Number four, it holds objective lenses and can be rotated. That's the revolving nose piece. Number five, it supports the entire microscope and found at the bottom. That is the base of the microscope. You have just reviewed some parts and functions of the microscope. Now it's time to learn how to focus a microscope. There are eight steps for you to follow when focusing a microscope. One, you put a table lamp in front of the microscope or adjust the mirror so that natural light is reflected through the stage window. If a table lamp is not available, then you can place the microscope near a window but never direct to the sunlight. Number two, Put a low power eyepiece into the microscope. And again, always remember with low power eyepiece as the beginning ocular piece when you start to focus a microscope. Number three, rotate a low power objective into position. The low power objective, again, will always be our starting point if we want to focus. We don't want to start with a higher power objective because we might overlook some items or some portions in your field of view in the specimen. Number four, look through the eyepiece or the ocular lens. Adjust the mirror until you see a bright circle of light. You don't want to scan or focus a specimen with a dark microscope. Number five, place a slide on the stage and fix it with the clips. The specimen on the slide should be right above the hole of the stage that allows for light to pass through and will let you see the specimen. Number six, look at the microscope from the side. Turn the course adjustment knob carefully to lower the objective until it is very close to the side. Do not let the knob or the objective touch the slide or else you might break the slide. 
remember to have it just very close to the slide. Number seven, look through the eyepiece. Turn the course adjustment knob to raise the objective slowly until you can see an image of the specimen. And last, turn the fine adjustment knob to get a sharper image. And the image is now in focus. But focusing a slide on a microscope takes patience. Resist the temptation to rush. Here's one more concept for you to learn. Magnification. When we say magnification, we refer to the ability of lens to produce a bigger image of an object. The magnification process involves two lenses, the eyepiece lens and the objective lens. To get the total magnification, you multiply the magnification of the eyepiece lens and the magnification of the objective lens. Remember, multiply, do not add. Our objective lenses usually have the following powers. You have four times. This magnifies the image by a factor of four. It's also referred to as the scanning objective. Since it is used to scan the slide, to locate the specimen before viewing it at a higher magnification. We also have 10 times. This magnifies the image by a factor of 10. This is also called the LPO or low power objective. And we have 40 times, which magnifies the image by a factor of 40. This is also called the HPO or the high power objective. To compute for the total magnification, you multiply the magnification of the ocular lens or the eyepiece and the magnification of the objective lens. For example, if the ocular lens magnifies the image by a factor of 10 or 10 times and the objective lens magnifies the image by a factor of 50 or 50 times, the total magnification of the image is 500 times. This is a common mistake of students. They add the magnification of the ocular lens and the objective lens. The process is to multiply it, not add. So that's 10 times times 50 times. That's 500 times magnification of the lenses that you used. Let us see how well you understood the magnification process. Fill in the blanks by solving the missing numbers. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. The first column gives you the eyepiece lens. Second column gives you the objective lens. And the third column is for the total magnification. Items one, two, three, and four are for you to solve. Let us have the second row with the given eyepiece lens of five times. The total magnification is 20 times. What is the objective lens used in this example? Answer, four times. Let's have number two. The eyepiece lens is five times. The objective lens is 40 times. The total magnification with these lenses, 200 times. Number three, you're asked to determine the eyepiece lens with the objective lens of 10 times and a total magnification of 100 times. Answer, 10 times. Last item, you're given the eyepiece lens of 10 times and the objective lens of 40 times. What is the total magnification? Number four, the answer is 400 times. You see, 
the microscope is one of the most important inventions in the field of science. It allows us and scientists to look closer into microscopic organisms and see how these organisms function or affect other organisms like us. In this time of pandemic, we are very thankful for the microscopes since we are able to determine how the COVID-19 pandemic can be resolved. What can you do now as a learner? In dedication for our frontliners, especially to hospital employees, write a thank you message for all of their hard works and sacrifices made in this global health crisis, the COVID-19 pandemic. Write your message on a separate sheet of paper. You may share your outputs on social media and use the hashtags, hashtag science e 2 7 or hashtag science tutor gen. I will be able to see your outputs as well. You use these out hashtags in the outputs that you will share on social media. We are now down to the last section of this session, the post test. We have here a three item multiple choice test to see how well you understood. Let's have item number one. An increase in magnification causes A, a decrease in the field of view, B, an increase in the working time, C, a decrease in the working distance, or D, an increase in a working distance. Correct answer, letter A. The more you increase the magnification, you are decreasing your field of view. Number two, which of the following should you not do while using the microscope? A. Use low power objective lens first. B, use stage clips to hold the slide in place. C, use direct sunlight when mirror is the light source. Or D, use fine adjustment only under the high power objective. Which should you not do while using the microscope? Correct answer, letter C. Do not use direct sunlight. Number three, if the eyepiece magnification on light microscope is 10 times and the objective is 40 times, what is the overall magnification? A, four times, B, 10 times, C, 40 times, or D, 400 times times. What is the overall magnification? Correct answer, letter D, 400 times. I hope you have learned today. Thank you so much for sticking around. Remember, your learning doesn't end here. So be sure to subscribe and like all the official social media platforms of DepEd on Facebook and on YouTube and continue learning even at your most convenient time. Thank you so much and see you again on our next session.